Hey guys, thank you for tuning in to Amy's Crypt. Today I am going to take you around some of the spookiest places in California to explore the six most haunted places in San Diego. There are so many ghost stories to share about haunted San Diego. It has a very spooky cemetery. It also has some amazing haunted hotels in San Diego. And there is what many claim to be the most haunted house in the world. Let's start this list off with number six, the Casa de Estudio. This place sits in the middle of Old Town San Diego and was built back in 1827. It was once a site of great importance due to its central location and it has been used as a chapel, town hall, school and shelter as well as being a home. Today the Casa Dia studio functions as a museum but many people do believe it to be one of the most haunted places in San Diego. There has been many many sightings of the apparition of a very depressed looking woman with a young child. They are seen wearing period clothing and are fought to bear some relationship to one another. Another male spirit exists and is known for having a hostile and aggressive attitude towards children and religious symbols. There are numerous other spirits here as well, including that of a monk and a male torso. There's also been many reports of poltergeist activity occurring and EVPs captured telling people to get out. There's also sudden temperature drops, light anomalies, perfume scents and disembodied voices that have been captured at the Casa de Estudio. Moving on to number five on our most haunted places in San Diego list brings us to the Cosmopolitan Hotel. The Cosmopolitan is one of the most haunted hotels in San Diego. Today it is a recognized national historic landmark, but from 1827 until 1829 it was the Bandini family residence and known very well throughout town for throwing wild and extravagant parties. After Bandini's death in 1859 the property was sold and expanded to become a functional hotel. Today it still operates as a hotel and a restaurant and is still a very interesting place for the number of ghost stories that surround it. Numerous people have cited apparitions within this haunted hotel. These include women dressed in Victorian era clothing, children who have been heard giggling as well as seen playing in the hotel. There's also been a lot of poltergeist activity to happen within the Cosmopolitan Hotel. This has been reported by staff, particularly in the saloon area where chairs seem to move on their own. Some claim that Bandini himself continues to haunt his former home and some investigators even claim to have captured EVPs from him. Bandini's daughter is also thought to haunt the hotel, in particular room 11, where objects are said to move around on their own accord. Number four on this list brings us to another very haunted hotel in San Diego, known as the Horton Grand Hotel. This luxurious but haunted hotel was first constructed in 1887. It was later dismantled and meticulously reassembled to conjoin to another hotel. Since then, there have been many ghost stories circulating about this very spooky spot in San Diego. Allegedly, the most haunted room inside the Horton Grand Hotel is room 309. This room is thought to be haunted by the ghost of a Roger Whittaker, who has made his presence known to many guests who have spent the night there. During his life, Roger was quite the gambler and this tended to get him into quite a bit of trouble. Supposedly one night, he got himself into an altercation related to money and was shot. Roger managed to make his way back to room 309 at the Horton Grand Hotel where he was staying. Unfortunately, he was followed back and his murder murder was completed inside that room. Ever since, and many have claimed to feel his presence inside room 309, seen objects move around on their own 
and even sight lights flicker on and off. Many have also witnessed the apparition of a woman in the haunted hotel's lobby wearing Victorian era clothing. She is believed to be Ida Bailey, who ran the Cat House brothel, which once stood on the land that the Horton Grand Hotel now stands upon. Additionally, many people claim that there may be a residual haunting at the hotel. There have been numerous guests report to see groups of people parading through the hotel wearing distinctive 19th century clothing. Number three on our list is the notorious El Campo Santo Cemetery. This spooky cemetery is quite eerie, especially at night, and is thought by many to be one of the most haunted places in San Diego. This burial place dates back to 1849, but accepted bodies up until 1880. Unfortunately, it fell into disrepair at one point in time, so much so that part of it was built over to create a streetcar line. And many believe that it is this that disgruntled many spirits as they had their burial place disturbed. Both men and women wearing 19th century clothing have been sighted walking through the cemetery before disappearing amongst the graves. Some have even claimed to see the apparition of Yankee Jim Robinson, who was hanged at the nearby Whaley House, which we'll talk a little more about later in this video. Adding to the paranormal activity to occur at this very haunted place in San Diego is cold spots, light anomalies, electrical disturbances, and even poltergeist activity. Now onto number two on our haunted San Diego list, let's talk about the famous Hotel Del Coronado. Just off the shore of San Diego, on one of its surrounding islands, sits a beautiful and luxurious waterfront resort with a dark past. The Hotel Del Coronado opened in 1888 and has since hosted many high profile individuals. The hotel gained notoriety and its first ghost in 1892, shortly after a young woman by the name of Kate Morgan checked in. Kate checked into room 3312, which is now 3327, and spent several days at the hotel before taking her own life. Her mysterious death captured the imaginations of many and the case became widely publicized. Many have speculated that Kate spent her last few days waiting for a lover who never arrived. Paranormal activity within the room that Kate stayed is commonly reported by guests today. Many have claimed to see her ghost within the room and the hallways which surround it. There has also been poltergeist activity reported within the room, electrical disturbances, and disembodied voices and footsteps heard. Room 3519 is also supposedly haunted and has some mysterious ties to Kate Morgan. Supposedly a maid who had befriended Kate lived in that room. This maid attended Kate's funeral and afterwards was never seen or heard from again. Ever since her disappearance, many claims of ghostly sightings and happenings coming from this room have been reported. Some even claim that the gift shop is haunted within the Hotel Del Coronado. And now, our number one most haunted place in San Diego, the infamous Whaley House, claimed by many to potentially be the most haunted house in the world. In 1850, a man named Yankee Jim Robinson made his way to San Diego, California, and shortly after was prosecuted for being a thief and hanged from the back of a wagon. Another man, Thomas Whaley, stood in the crowd to witness this execution. He later purchased the land that this hanging occurred on to build his business and family home, the Whaley House. This now haunted house was built in 1857 and served many purposes. It was the location of the Whaley General Store, as well as the Whaley family residence. It also held a courthouse and a theater. There has been many ghost stories circulated about the Whaley house. The first of those concerned Yankee Jim Robinson, fought to haunt the land he was hanged on and now having moved into the Whaley house. 
reports of his apparition being sighted and heavy boots walking along the floorboards have existed since the Whaley's first moved into their home. There's a few Whaley's thought to still exist since their deaths in this haunted house too. Both Thomas and his wife Anna, as well as some of their children are thought to still haunt the property. Even the family dog and cat have been sighted chasing each other through the house and its yard before disappearing into thin air. There's no shortage of unexplainable phenomena occurring within the Whaley house. People have sighted apparitions and even captured them in photographs. There's been strange smells and sounds to occur and people have even heard disembodied voices all throughout the property. That's a wrap for this list on the most haunted places in San Diego. I hope that you enjoyed these ghost stories. If you did, please remember to like, comment and share. I'd really love to know if you visited any of these places yourself or maybe you know of some San Diego haunts that should be added to this list. If you want to visit more haunted places with me from all around the world, then make sure to hit subscribe. This is Amy's Crypt. Until next time, stay spooky.